Hello everyone, Ms. Keller here. Today I'm talking about cause-effect text structure. And remember, text structure is when an author um, intentionally organizes their nonfiction text. So we are at the end of our text structure unit. Uh, we have done four previous text structures and now we're looking at cause and effect. So cause-effect text structure is exactly as it sounds. It features the causes of something or the effects of something or both. So uh, remember an action preceding an effect is its cause and the result of an action is an effect. So the purpose of cause-effect text structure is to prove the relationship between an action and its consequences. So, for example, uh, examining the effects of doing drugs in order to prove the negative relationship between drugs and health. In example two, we can analyze, analyze the causes of the Great Depression to prove the relationship between poor economic policies and economic failure. Here are your cause signal words. Um, sometimes you see them in your paragraph and sometimes you don't. Okay, so in this example, you only see one signal word, do to. That shows you that in this um, set of paragraphs, it's mostly examining the cause of something. Okay, so looking at the effect, um, it says species throughout history have disappeared. Okay, that's the main idea. So examining the causes of why animal species have um, disappeared. If you look at the rest of the paragraph, um, it examines those causes. So here it says disease, competition, and natural climate change are all examples of why, I'm sorry, causes of species disappearance. In the next paragraph, it tells us that when humans became the dominant species, it had also caused pe uh, animal species to disappear. And then at the end of the paragraph, it tells us that technological advances and the increasing number of humans, people, um, also have changed the world via uh, making animal species disappear. So, so remember, those signal words indicate um, what you're looking at. Are you looking at a majority of causes or a majority of effects? Here are your effect signal words. And in this example, the same idea holds. You only have one signal word this results in. And it shows you that this paragraph mostly examines the effects of something. Okay, so if you look at the first pair, I'm sorry, the first sentence, it says um, scientists predict climate change could make blizzards more intense. So they are examining the effects of climate change, global warming. And then if you look at the rest of the paragraph, they provide exam I'm sorry, effects of uh, climate change. So making blizzards more intense, um, creating a warmer atmosphere, uh, which then uh, creates more moisture in the atmosphere, which then falls as precipitation, which then results in frequent and more intense storms. You can also say that um, it increases the amount of energy and moisture available in those storms, and then that increases the severity as well. 